always a pleasure to sponsor the local community. Um, we think that the quality of speakers here is very, very good. And um, it's nice to be part of this community. You know, whilst NTT doesn't have an office in Sweden, you know, we're very proud to be working with a lot of big Swedish companies and Swedish networks. So we want to continue being part of the community and sponsoring your events and uh, building our network and our presence in, in Sweden and this region as well. Uh, did you have time to see anything of the agenda so far? Of the, of the presentation? Yes, um, I enjoyed very much the John from U the University of Cambridge talking about his challenges with the uh, Wi-Fi network for Tour de France. Um, looking forward to some speakers this afternoon, in particular Interaction and Spotify. And for us, uh, NetNode being a very important partner, so it's a, it's a very good event, a very good event for Interaction. What are you going to talk about? So I'm going to talk about uh, how or the role of uh, data centers in, uh, in the world of uh, what we do with internet exchanges and in the role of connectivity and gateways and so on. Well, so for us it's crucial to find out um, who your partners are so we can partner with them as well as part of uh, the some development as well. Uh, do you find uh, some of the talks a little bit too techy? A little bit, because clearly I'm not a very technical person, but um, having been in the industry for 20 years now, uh, I understand, I'd say, probably about 70% of it, and the other 30% I ask my technical colleagues to explain. <laughs> You have just completed uh, your first uh, round here at the NetNode meeting. So, uh, how did it go? Well, we had some fantastic presentations this morning. Um, uh, the one from um, John from Cambridge was very interesting to me about wireless, uh, putting together a wireless network in, a, in an urban environment where there are lots of conservation issues. I thought that was a fantastic presentation. There's been some very good discussion around the EID scheme, which I thought was very interesting. Um, the quality of the presentations was very high and I'm looking forward to tasting how the food's going to measure up. First look, it looks pretty decent as well. Yeah. Uh, are you just to uh, moderate this kind of meetings? Or? Yeah, uh, well, I, I worked at the RIPE NCC for 10 years, um, and in that context, I was um, there as a RIPE NCC member, not necessarily as a moderator. So I was um, listening to a lot of the discussions, and now it's very interesting to be able to get involved and actually see how the conversation's going. I look forward to a lot more discussion uh, over the next two days. I didn't fly here for nothing. I flew here to meet people and that there are so many people here is a great opportunity to uh, share knowledge on my favorite topic, large beach pea communities. So thank you for having me here. What is the most hot uh, technical topic right now in the business? Within my circles, there's a lot of arguing on how to do network automation. And there are different schools of thought, so it's nice to sharpen our brains on each other's arguments. The NetNook meetings is an excellent place to have technical discussions and meet NetNook's customers. And for me personally, a place to learn about NetNook's business. Of course, I think the agenda is excellent because I'm speaking tomorrow, nah, jokingly. The agenda is always very interesting. It's one of the best meeting places for technical people in Scandinavia because we have both talks that are related to the NetNode DNS and exchange business, but we also have talks from all other areas of networking. <laughs> What will you bring us this time? Uh, this time I'm going to talk about high temperature electronics, uh, silicon carbide electronics. Um, this may not sound like a network subject, but it is. All these people are doing something that is quite, what should we say, hidden from ordinary people. Networking, optical networking, DNS, etc. 
more or less too complicated for ordinary people. This needs to be, this needs to be spread. Uh, security issues needs to be spread. We are having quite a lot of problems with security. Otherwise, there are lots of other interesting subjects, like electronic warfare, um, all sorts of stuff. And um, I'm actually promoting my own news service. The world needs another source of long reads, deep research, things that you can take to bed with you and enjoy. And I'm talking about texts here. <laughs> Not uh, short uh, video, YouTube videos. No? I, I like it that it's more of a mixture of both the tech side and the business side uh, and uh, you get to meet both which is, which is nice not not many forums offer that mix so that's one of the reasons why we at interaction really appreciate these meetings uh, what's the benefit for you sponsoring netnode event i think the, the main benefit is of course supporting the entire peering community uh, we uh, we really uh, uh, appreciate them and, and and promote this kind of business, uh, we are uh, a very carrier dense data centers. I mean, that's that's the, our, our whole idea, and, and and to be able to promote both both the private and the public peering side is, is very important for us. And uh, having acti active and successful IXs within our communities is just so important for us. So uh, it's. I, th I think for us it's very, very natural to, to be here, both hopefully as part of the event, but also to, to sponsor it. Is there something special you're looking forward to in the agenda? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually fairly keen to listen to, to the, uh, what, uh, what Spotify has to say about how they distribute their content, because that is something that I personally work a lot with, understanding how key... Uh, social media and content providers uh, distribute content and what networks they need to access and, and how they in general think about uh, their end user strategy so to say so uh, that, that's one that I'm looking forward to. Uh, you have been talking about uh, Swedish internet history and 250 years of uh, freedom of press. Why this subject at the national meeting? I think it's really, really important to continue to fight for an open internet and the ability to communicate and express ourselves. And many of us who work with the internet, we do believe that open internet is just and spreading information is something that is only a question that has only been discussed the last couple of years. But it is actually like multi-hundred year discussion that is now just implemented on the internet. Is this uh, issue more uh, than ever at stake, you would say, than before? Or is this normal? Oh, absolutely, because of two reasons. One is that you have the uh, the owners of intellectual property. The question is, of course, like how do you handle that on the global internet, specifically when it is both possible to duplicate digitized information without any cost. So the question is then, how sh should you get paid for music and other kind of things? But it's also the case that you also have a question: What is TV? Is it only is it only the few TV official TV broadcasters that they have sort of a monopoly on creating TV? Or what happens when each one of us can have our own TV channel? What is a journalist? Those questions are now coming up, and and they are I find them fascinating. Is, is this is it is this a TV program or not? Are you a journalist? Yeah. Who am I? Am I a human? Yeah. No one really knows. No one knows who is that you're a dog when you're on the internet, right? No. So I think those are serious questions because we have lots of legislation that, for example. If you talk, if I talk to a journalist, we have something that is, that is called in legislation the ability for me to be anonymous, and and no one can ask the can force the journalist to disclose who they got the information from. But that requires a journalist to sort of be a specific sort of title, and the same thing with newspapers. You can you have you have to have a responsible whatever responsible person for the newspaper, and they have to register. But what about a blog? 
Yeah. Yeah. No one knows. No one knows. <laughs> also in one language. <laughs> so our discussion about openness and the ability to express ourselves, suddenly we are cutting the middleman. Yeah. I can talk with you without going through a newspaper. Yeah. And that's, that's amazing. That, that's, yeah, I think it's fun. I think it's really fun. Yeah. It's posted on Netno TV on YouTube. Netno TV on YouTube, exactly. But on the other hand, given the current legislation, I doubt this is a TV channel. <laughs> Peter, uh, it's, actually, it's access to a database, I think, but I don't really know. We have to ask some legal people. Some really good good mix of speakers we heard some very interesting topics during the day uh, ranging from how you build a Wi-Fi network in, an, in a very old university city to how you provide internet access in a part of the world where it's normally not even people I really liked all of the talks I mean the, the really good thing that I feel with the with the agenda we put together in the network meeting is that we have a very broad mix of subjects that really suits a wide variety of, of customers and partners like our customer is. It's, it's a wide variety of customers. Uh, do you think our customers are satisfied and all the visitors here at the NATO meeting? I actually think they like it. I talked to a lot of them during the day. I think they like the meeting. I, we also announced a couple of, uh, of new services, especially in the optical eyes part, which I had very good feedback from customers on. We also announced that we are having starting to sell a single port at the IX in Stockholm, and that was something that the, some customers thought was very, very good as well. Yeah, now it's time to relax and mingle and do some uh, social networking. So we will not keep you here, we will keep you busy with our customers. Thank you very much. The social networking is almost as, as uh, important as the, the cable-bound and optical networking and uh, I would say rock-solid social networking as well. Yeah.